An insurance company has determined that in a certain region, the probability of lightning striking a house in a given year is about 0 .0002, and the average cost of repairs of lightning damage is $6,500 per incident. The company charges $28 per year for lightning insurance. What is the company's expected value for the net income from each lightning insurance policy in one year? And so uh, the expected value would be equal to or determined by uh, the, the number of lightning strikes and the number of houses that are not struck by lightning. For those who are not struck f by lightning, uh, the income to the company will be $28. That will be uh, from the policy. And that's going to be multiplied by 0.9998, uh, which is the probability that there is no lightning strike. But on the other hand, for those with a lightning strike, each of those households also pay $28, but then the company has to reimburse approximately $6,500 to each of those, and that occurs at 0.0002 of the time. So if we do this computation, we get 28 times 0.9998 plus parentheses 28 minus 6,500 times 0 0.0002. which is about $26.70. $26.70. That's the expected value uh, from each of the policies. If the company has 150,000 policies, what is the company's expected value? yearly income from the lightning insurance. So we would simply multiply our expected value for one by $150,000 or 150,000 policy owners times $26.70 So one five zero 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 times twenty six dollars and seventy cents. So four million five hundred thousand dollars. In the ne next problem, we're considering families with three children, assuming that the probability of having a girl is a half and the probability of not having a girl is a half. Complete the table of probabilities for having zero, one, two, or three girls in a family of three children. And so uh, we know uh, that the number of ways of getting zero girls on three tries would be C30 times one half cubed, which is equal to one times one half cubed, which is one eighth. For two girls, We've had the combinations of three girls 
taken, I'm sorry, for one girl, one at a time, times one half to the one times one half to the three minus one, which is two. And so in this case, we have three eighths. For number two, for having two girls, it would be the combinations of three taken two at a time times one half to the two times one half to the one, which again becomes three eighths. And for three, it will be one eighth again, because it'll be number of ways to choose three out of three this would be one half to the third times one half to the zero or one eighth. I would have been more consistent here in showing you the computation for uh, zero girls if I had put one half to the zero before I had the one half to the third, uh, because the, pr the um, probability of a girl and a boy were both one half, and I left out the one half to the zero for the, z the fact that we had no girls. So then we're supposed to find the expected number of girls in a family of three. And so we would have no girls with a probability of one-eighth. We'd have two girls with a probability of three-eighths. I'm sorry, one girl with a probability of three-eighths. We'd have two girls with a probability of three-eighths and three girls with a probability of one-eighth. And so we've got three-eighths plus six-eighths is nine-eighths, plus three-eighths is twelve-eighths. or 1.5, 1.5 girls. Theoretically, since of course we cannot have a fraction of a girl. We have one more problem, sorry. A die is rolled and a coin is tossed. If the result is a six and heads, you get eight dollars. For any other result, you pay one dollar. So the probability of getting a six and heads is going to be one sixth times one half or one twelfth. The probability of not getting a six and a head will be eleven twelfths.
So in this case, uh, the expected value would be $8 times 1 twelfth plus negative $1 times 11 twelfths or minus 3 twelfths of a dollar negative uh, 75, uh, negative one fourth or negative point two five. Your expected value is to lose 25 cents. If the game is not fair, find the payout amount that would make the game fair. So in order for the pay, for the, um, game to be fair, E has to equal zero. And so they want us to find the payout amount. So it's the eight that we're allowed to vary. So the expected value will be zero. We'll let N be the payout amount times one twelfth plus minus one times 11 twelfths. And so this gives us that 1 twelfth n equals 11 twelfths. We're multiplying both sides by 12 n would have to equal eleven dollars. So a payout amount of eleven dollars would make the game fair.